everyone and welcome to another X-Plane 11 tutorial. If you're like me, you try to use the simulator in as most realism as possible scenario. One of the problems I have with this is taxiing from the gate to your desired runway. It's even more complicated when flying online through VATSIM when air traffic control gives you specific instructions to follow. You can use the built-in air traffic control and have some guided lines on the ground, but again, you can't necessarily pick your own desired path. All these problems are solved with a plugin called Airport Visual System that's about $25 on the xplane.org store. So I'm going to show you in this lesson how to use Airport Visual System and why I really like it. So let's begin. The first thing we'll do is go up to the top, select Plugins, Airport Visual System, and turn it on. We end up with a box in the bottom left, but we can click the title bar and move this box anywhere we like. We can also go to the bottom right, click the corner, drag it out and resize the window to our desired size. Using the middle mouse wheel we can zoom in and out as you would expect, and holding in the middle mouse button I can pan around the screen. So let's pretend we're on VATSIM. Air traffic control gave me a very specific uh, instruction for a taxiway. So I'll go over here to airports, I'll select taxiways, and I can actually say, okay, we'll start from this gate, air traffic controls, I had to take the alpha taxi route, and I kept going down and cross at this particular cape point here, and then we're going to cross again at O. We'll then go right over here to M, and then we'll line up with runway 04, and that's my path. So as I'm given instructions by air traffic control to take a specific route, I can plan it all out myself. And if I was happy with that, I can simply click accept. For now, I'm going to click clear route. The other thing I can simply do is click the gate I'm at, go find out where I want to go, which is 04, and the system just figures out the best path for me to take. So again, your choice. You can get the quickest way to the actual runway, or you can go in and specifically specify the settings that your air traffic control has provided. And let's hit accept there. So now I have my desired taxiway. Let's set that on the destination airport. We'll just enter the same exact airport as well. And let's say we're going to land here on runway 32. So we'll go here to taxiways. And let's figure out a safe landing distance. Let's go all the way to the end of the runway here. We're going to get off at K. And I would like to go back to the same gate I'm at here. And I'll hit accept. So now I have a different taxi route specified for my origin airport and one for my destination. And we'll switch back and forth between the two in a minute. But for now, we'll go to Origin. I'm going to shrink this box to the smallest it can get. Put it at the bottom left here for me and zoom in. By default, the Origin Airport is set to what's called Heading Mode, as you can see highlighted. And that means that the map will rotate so that the heading of my aircraft is always facing up. So now, let's get on to Runway 4.
All right, now that you know how to set up a taxi route from your gate to your departing runway, you can also do it the same thing for your destination airport and runway. So all we have to do is go over here to our origin and change it to destination. And you'll notice that instead of being set to heading mode, it's set to centered. So you'll want to center your view on the spot that you actually have to exit. So that is here. So let's just move that a little bit. There we go. So that is our view. So now as we land on runway 32, we'll follow down the airport runway and then we'll turn off and follow the magenta line to our gate. So let's go ahead and watch the landing and see it firsthand.
All right, there you go, folks. This is how to use Airport Visual System. There's many other great features of this tool, such as the ability to go here and look at charts. Um, you would have had to already download them, but it will let you view PDF and JPEG images inside the tool. So that is neat if you're looking at specific approaches. And there's several options as well. But this is a quick look at Airport Visual System available on the xplane.org store for about $25. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this plugin will help you on future online VATSIM flights. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe and let me know other tutorials that you would like me to do.